Hey everybody, welcome back to Barstool Boxing. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the lightweight division. So last weekend, we had a huge fight down under in Australia, and George Cambosos lost all his belts to Devin Haney. Devin Haney is now the undisputed unified lightweight champion of the world. I love heavyweights, but these 135 pound freaks seem to be the most exciting weight division in all of boxing. I'm gonna tell you why. Nobody knows who's legit anymore. Vasyl Lomachenko, a generational fighter, held a couple of belts, and then in 2020, during the pandemic, he lost them to Teofimo Lopez. And when he did, nobody questioned that Loma was a legit champion. Huge amateur record, two gold medals, all that stuff. Teofimo Lopez has him. And then Teofimo Lopez drops him to George Cambosos in a huge upset in Hulu Theater Madison Square Garden, which made people wonder, was Teofimo Lopez a legitimate champion? Teo had some excuses afterwards that people weren't impressed with. People were quite angry with him, to be con uh, quite honest with you. He hasn't fought since, so we need to know where Teo is at. Then Cambosos has all these belts, and in his first defense, he loses in his backyard to Devin Haney. Was George Cambosos ever a real champion? I don't know. People don't seem to think he was because they don't want to see the rematch. Now we got Devin Haney, very, very talented boxer. A lot of people don't think he has the knockout power. Is he really a real champion? He's got all the belts, but will he be able to keep them for a while? And that's what makes this such a sexy division. Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia, Pitbull Cruz, Jojo Diaz, Teo, Loma, everyone's back into the mix. So... Lightweight division is the one to watch, the one that I'm going to keep my eye on, and I'm hoping that we can see after this Fortuna versus Ryan Garcia fight that's coming up in a couple of weeks, actually a little more than a couple of weeks, then we maybe see Garcia versus Tank, maybe we see a Haney versus a Lomachenko, see if Lomachenko can get all those belts back. Where the hell is Teofimo after he fights at 140? Does he want to come back down to the lightweight division? A lot of questions to be uh, answered and a lot of fighters that we want to watch. So keep your eye on the lightweight division. What else is going on? Well, how about me getting so goddamn excited that I was going to Ireland to watch Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano Part 2. It was tentatively scheduled the week after Canelo Alvarez was going to fight Triple G for the third time in September, I think September 17th. So the 24th, it was going to be in like Crow Park in Dublin. Man, I was jumping up and down. I called up Mick Conlon. We were going to have an Irish breakfast, the whole deal. Looks like that's off. Looks like Serrano doesn't want to take that fight. Why doesn't she want to take that fight? Well, Jake Paul might put her on the undercard when he fights Tommy Fury. She wants a little more time before she gets in there against Katie Taylor. For whatever reason, that fight seems to be off for the time being, and I'm not happy about it. Holly Holmes' name is being thrown in the mix. I really just don't give a shit. All I want to see is I want to see Katie Taylor versus Amanda Serrano Part 2. I want to see it in Ireland, and we have the right to see it in Ireland because it's all at Katie's belts. You want them, you got to come and get them for me in fucking Ireland, and I want to be ringside for it. So stay tuned for that. I'll keep you guys up.